The age-old question that has stood the test of time. Is college still worth it? Should I spend $100,000 in student loans to obtain a cybersecurity bachelor's degree? Oh. No. to help land a cybersecurity entry-level position that may or may not pay 50k salary with no benefits, a student loan that may or may not take 10 to 30 years to actually pay off, a loan that will be an added monthly payment to your already existing utility bills, phone, streaming, car loan, food, gas, DLCs, mortgage, two and a half kids. All right, enough fear mongering, you get it. I personally, without a shadow of a doubt, believe no, but my opinion doesn't matter. What does matter is facts. And apparently, facts don't care about my feelings, and I have a lot of them. See, we're in a job market right now, the likes of which we have never seen before. So naturally, with cybersecurity trending right now, which is good, we need more people spreading the cybersecurity awareness. Because technology has gotten us all connected in ways you've never imagined. Does Google track my movement? Does Google, through this phone, know that I have moved here and moved over to the left? It's either yes or no. Uh not by default. And it's opened us up to some big gaping holes in security. The demand is there, the job listings may or may not be real, ghost listings as some might call it, but once you do apply to an actual real job listing, you're gonna wanna make sure that you didn't just waste your time and money getting something for your resume that isn't gonna do shit for getting past the HR gates. So, college. Let's talk about it. Why would you want to do college? There's something to be said about structure and mentorship. Two things that college does well, sort of. Depends on the professor you get, honestly. I'm looking at you, so if you don't get this, college can provide four years of structure. I don't understand what's going on in the news. It's literally plug and play, guys. Sign up, give them your money, show up to class, you get taught, and hopefully the cybersecurity program is structured correctly. Ah, oh, heck yeah. Ooh, I like that one. And lays the groundwork for you to pursue any one of the cybersecurity niches that I've covered in a previous video. You don't have to research, what should I learn to get started in cybersecurity? <laughs> None of that. They've done that work for you. And on top of having a set guided program to get you from zero to this guy, you also gain access to college resources in the form of labs, cybersecurity clubs, job fairs, networking with your fellow students. Maybe someone in your class knows a person who knows a person who can get you a sweet IT gig either during college or after you graduate. Maybe your professors can recommend you to a job that they know is open because they know people because they work in the field and can refer you provided that you have wowed them enough during your time in the classes. Don't be a slacker. You get to experience college, which is kind of neat. It's just as much a social benefit as it is an educational one. Now, I don't talk to anybody that I went to class with, but that's just me. I'm a recluse. Now, why wouldn't you want to go to college? That sounds great so far, right? What could possibly be wrong with it? Two reasons time and money, both of which we don't have a lot of. What college used to be is one of the few places that you could have access to resources and technical explanations that you couldn't get anywhere else through lectures where you can ask them questions and learn. Well, guess what? The internet happened. Now all that shit you can get online. Problem is though, teaching yourself is hard because it's boring. For most people, it's easier to motivate yourself if you're expected to show up somewhere along with 20 to 40 other fellow classmates that you can talk to, bounce ideas off of, and who can collectively learn while someone who's already learned this shit before teaches you versus sitting in your room alone watching YouTube tutorials and attempting to learn this on your own. Sounds lonely, doesn't it? And on top of everything, college has been since the dawn of time structured around filler classes. Humanities. Dumb. Stupid. Crazy. I've gotten some snide remarks on a previous video I've made from people who probably have a degree in sociology, psychology, marriage and family, and who have said stuff like, humanities are important too, so you don't turn into a sociopath, or some shit like that. I don't remember exactly what they said because I don't want to give them the satisfaction of me looking it up and posting it in this video. But claiming humanities, extra math, all that useless bullshit that doesn't apply to the job that you're going to be trying to get because it makes you a more well-rounded individual makes no sense to me. Absolutely none. I think you're nuts. Most people don't have a college degree, folks, and yet there they are, functioning adults with 
empathy, and morals, just like the rest of us. I don't need to debate philosophical questions to fix my moral compass. <laughs> my moral compass was set when I was in high school, walking around alone in my one and only oversized puffy black jacket. And I learned then that people suck. I am dead inside. But most people are trying hard not to suck. We're all just trying our best, right? Well, some of us aren't trying at all. I'm looking at you. That's right. And some of us are trying a little bit too hard. Chill out, bruv. You're overworking yourself. That's college in a nutshell. You fork over anywhere from 40K to $100,000, getting taught the basics on top of filler classes, and four years later, you have a piece of paper <laughs> that proves more or less you can just be reliable for four years. Now, the alternative. What can you do instead? My channel has more or less evolved into a cybersecurity certificates channel. I've covered quite a few. I've researched what they cover. I've taken a few practice exams myself and passing one that is slightly more difficult. Research. I've done lots of it. And I've come to the conclusion that what I've learned in my cybersecurity bachelor's program could have been learned from just a handful of certificates. There you go. That's the answer you're looking for. You start with computer basics, as in CompTIA's 8 plus or the Google cybersecurity certificate available down below. And some messing around with one's computer will cover this. Build a computer. Learn what each part does and what it's responsible for. Done. Didn't need a two and a half month class to learn that. Networking. Very important that you know networking. In fact, we just interviewed someone who said that networking wasn't their forte. And that made me die a little bit inside. Network Plus or CCNA. Didn't need four quarters of Cisco classes. A full year to learn any of this either. Slightly more advanced stuff involving big picture security concepts like the CIA triad or defense in depth. Security Plus or CISA Plus. Finally learning specific exploits, vulnerabilities, scripting, hacks that have occurred in the past, CDSA, CPTS, Cyber Defenders, CCD. But Madhat, which certificate is best? That's not really a question that can be answered because you're comparing apples to other fruits. They're all different kinds of certificates intended to achieve different things. But if I had to pick one, it would be the Google Cyber the Mad Hat certificate that will be released sometime between now and the future. All for the low, low price of... Now the problem I noticed with my cybersecurity program, my degree, is that unless you spend an absorbent amount of time outside of your class and the slew of homework assignments that you're forced to do, diving into the weeds of all the hyper-specific things that you are being taught, things like machine code, or how machine code interacts with programming languages, you're likely going to forget most of it. As in, it requires a lot more time to harden your knowledge through hands-on work to retain it in the long run. So for someone like me, who's done pretty much nothing but security analyst work, most of the highly technical concepts we did cover, I haven't had to utilize in my day-to-day -day as a cybersecurity analyst. And now that I'm attempting to do more security engineer type work, I'm doing even less of what I've learned in the program. Now I'm sure I'll continue to get this question to which I will direct them to this video. Whether or not college is right for you depends on the person. What type of person are you? How quick of a learner are you? Are you self-disciplined enough to learn all these certificates in one year? Like the genius in the Mad Hat Discord? Holy. Fucking shit. Join the Discord down below! And not only pass the certificate, but actually learn what's covered in it. Do you want to socialize? Or do you just want to get a job as quickly as possible? Do you want to waste an extra two to three years of your life? Or do you want to get started at the bottom of the IT food chain and work your way up to a six-figure salary as soon as possible? The point of a degree is to help you land a job. The point of certificates is to help you land a job. Now you can get a cybersecurity job without either of those. Some job listings require a bachelor's degree, some do not. It's as simple as that. Now, whether or not you actually learn the material to know what the actual fuck you're talking about, should you actually miraculously land an interview? Well, that's up to you. Oh.